Um, we are going to the boat today and so it's going to be a little bit different. So we ha we are having someone to come down to sort of in not inspect the boat but sort of check to see if she has a flat bottom or like a, a curved bottom um, to take her out to get blackened. We don't know if she's going to get blackened today. We will find out when we get there. But it's like really exciting. But first we've got to take Tiz to the vets. He's completely fine. Don't worry, he is fine. He's just having his annual um annual booster nail clippings and just sort of like some little checkups and stuff. Just to just sort of like a doggy MOT. But uh yeah, he's good. Um then we'll come back, get things ready, and then we'll go to the boat. So Tizzy has had his full MOT. Um, and he's completely healthy apart from he's put on a little bit of weight but um, you're bound to when it's your birthday um, he had a birthday cake and lots of treats and stuff but the vet says like it's fine because all dogs need a birthday um, so yeah so we're off to the boat now and we will see you guys when we get there and we will let you guys know what's actually going to be happening um, whether they're just going to be surveying, not surveying, inspecting. I'll just say inspecting. Just inspecting to see if the bottom is like um, a flat bottom or a, a round bottom. A V-shaped <laughs> A round bottom. <laughs> a V-shaped bottom. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see you guys when we get there. So I'm just walking to the boat now. Um... Andy's talking to some men about um, getting some more information about when they take the boat out and the blacking and stuff like that. It's quite windy today, but I've heard it's meant to warm up a bit. And I forgot my tripod today, so you'll have to bear with me with the angles and stuff of the... Um, of the footage because obviously I usually use my tripod to prop my phone up but obviously I forgot that today so it's um yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna have to use like items in the boat to prop my phone up and I also forgot my um, portable battery charger so it's probably gonna um I need to I need to conserve my battery <laughs> it's a really nice area here it's really pretty It's really quiet as well. You get a lot of people coming up and down the towpath, but it is quiet. And it's nice seeing all the different boats as well, like all the different, all the different paintwork and the sizes and stuff. I think Andy's still talking to the men. I don't see him behind me. Oh, and I remembered my keys again today. So. Bonus! <laughs> there she is! It's nice and cool on here. Let's put the kettle on for when Andy comes back. Probably gonna do a second coat on here. But I was looking on Amazon uh last night and um i was looking on amazon and i was looking at instead of doing um because i, I want to do like black outlines but instead of doing black outlines i was actually thinking of doing um like really thin black washi tape there's dog treats all over the boat <laughs> so i'll probably do a little bit of cleaning up just sweeping up and stuff i do apologize about the other visitors we have on the video Right there. Yeah. Mm -mm. Like, he came up on my face this morning. He was like, hello. I was like, get off my face. But yeah, no, my skin's really bad at the moment. But yeah, so I'm probably going to do a little bit of cleaning up. I need to find somewhere so I can prop my phone. So with my um, wall decoration, what I made, I was thinking of hanging it up here. That's if it fits. I haven't actually seen if it fits here.
I was thinking of like hanging it up under here. Then obviously you've got the picture in the way. I could hang it up here. That looks pretty cute. Quite like that. I'll see what Andy thinks. I'll just put it back up there first. I don't want to be doing anything without the captain's permission. <laughs> He's back now. Um, he said that the guy to um, sort of look at... <coughs> I will say that again. He said that the guy that is coming to look at the boat is um, talking to someone at the moment, but he's going to come down later and just have a look. Um, he said at 12. It's 11 now, so we've still got an hour. But yeah, he said he'd come down at 12, so we've got a few bits to do. First, I'm going to see what Andy's doing. What are you doing? Just measuring up for trunking. Trying to tidy all the cables away. It looks nice and neat. Mm. Did you want me to clip that in? Yeah. Andy can't clip the trunk in together. I hate it. It needs a woman's touch. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to do the painting now. Oh, I brought my um, brought my pens with me, so I might actually go over the top of that with my pen. I've just done a second coat of that dark blue this one i don't actually have that blue in pen form well these are different colors to the paint on the cupboard doors anyway but i don't really mind because some of the colors on there i don't really like um like that pink so i might go for like a darker pink or maybe a red yeah i think a red would actually look better than pink um, so I might go over that with red. I'm laid on the floor because I'm obviously painting this cupboard door and I can't be bothered to get back up. <laughs> um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter that I'm going slightly out of the lines because I'm going to do the washi tape anyway, so that'll cover it up. But it needs like a second coat of the pen anyway. But I have gone a bit messy, but that's okay. I finished the colours. I need to wait like for a few hours or even a day just to make sure the, color, the paint is completely dry. So yeah, it's quite a messy job, but like I did say, I'm going to have washi tape um, and I will go over the mess and everything a lot neater. It just doesn't help with the angle as well because I'm sort of on the floor. It's a bit messy, but the red looks hell of a lot better than the pink. And I find the colours actually do look better than the colours before. So handy Andy Pandy is down here doing the electrics. Woohoo!
geometric design I actually prefer this one this one's a lot better than that one but then I still like that one now I need to figure out the colors So I've done the next cupboard door. Oh, that sun is really bright. Beautiful. It's bright. Should have brought my sunglasses. Um, so I have done the second cupboard door. So I don't want to do like the same colours on each one. I want to sort of do different colours. This one's more like pastel-y. Um, this one's more like bright colours, like darker colours. But this one I think I might do mixed ones, like dark colours and pastel colours. Uh, so both of them still need like another coat obviously to tidy them up so I just met another YouTube viewer I love meeting my viewers it just makes me feel so happy oh, oh I love it no it's really nice meeting him and his boat is gorgeous That's beautiful. and another thing do you want to tell him babe what's that I want to build up the tension. Another exciting thing. Drum roll, please. Ba 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 ba. The kettle's nearly boiled. No, about the electrics. The electrics are all finished. Completely finished. Six double sockets. Uh, one, two, one, two, three double sockets. All sorted. All done. All the electrics are done. Now, Andy needs to pump in the sink so we can actually have some running water. Ain't that right, Poo? Yeah. And when we went through the locks, I got told it's 29 locks, not 30, so clearly I can't count. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's coming on good. <clears throat> She's still really messy, though. Like, I really, really want to stay overnight on the boat, but obviously we can't at the moment because... We can't really pull the bed out at the moment because obviously there's too much stuff in the way. You've got all the trimming. Um, uh, you should, uh, should slowly start going down. Like, you've got all the trimming and stuff coming over. I don't know what I'm doing with my arm. <laughs> and yeah, but once she's a bit tidier, then we'll stay over. But I really can't wait. But I know it's August and you guys are probably going to hate me for this because a lot of people do not like talking about it early. But I said to Andy that I have an idea for Christmas. I know, talk about Christmas in August. I know, I'm sorry, guys. But I love Christmas. Um, I want to have Christmas on the boat. So decorate the boat up all nice and Christmassy. And um, <clears throat> so I was thinking of cooking all the meats and stuff on Christmas Eve, like the lamb and the turkey and stuff like that. And even the stuff and got of stuff and balls. I love cold stuff and balls. And then make some like lamb or turkey 
like Christmas dinner sandwiches and just have sort of like a Christmas picnic on the boat. Like, do you like that idea, boat? Yeah, sounds good. That doesn't sound very convincing. What? I said that doesn't sound very convincing. That's because I'm cleaning. Oh my God, he's cleaning as well. Oh, I hate cleaning. This is too much for one day, making your own coffee and now cleaning. I can't take it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'd love to have Christmas on the boat. Like wake up in the morning, open our presents and then bring Tiz down here and we can just come on the boat and everything. It'd be amazing. And then just like go for a long walk down the canal. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about Christmas in August. <laughs> um, yeah, the next things to do now is carry on building the fireplace and the pump for the sink. They're the only big jobs left, aren't they? No, but the sink's plumbing. Once the sink's done, I've got to cut that door down in half, get that out of the way. Got the new doors coming when they finally get fitted. <coughs> fireplace has got to be built. Man, enjoy it. When he says the new doors coming, he means like the ha the um, hatch doors. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut that door in half, but make it into like we're gonna cut the, like the kitchen door in half, but make it into like a stable door. So when we've got Tiz on the boat, we can have the top half open, but the bottom half closed, so we he can still see us, sort of thing. I think that'd be pretty pretty cool. Kettle's boiling. Yeah. Kettle. Kettle! Excuse me. Kettle! 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 Andy pretty much fell into the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so going back to this thing, Andy doesn't know whether he likes it there. I don't know. He doesn't know. I just don't know. Okay, why don't we try... Because I can't go up there because it doesn't fit in there. Oh. Oh, where do I keep making things for the boat that doesn't fit on the boat? So the guy came down to have a look at our bottom. And it turns out that me and Andy have a flat bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to get done a couple weeks from now. So like two weeks. I'm literally just chilling. I have been for the last half hour. Just finished editing another YouTube video. Um, and I've literally just lost all motivation. <laughs> like, I am really comfy right now. I'm literally like squished in a ball. I'm like proper squished in a ball right now. It's so comfy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Do you ever get that real horrible tired stage where all of a sudden you're just like boom really tired and you feel like you can sleep for like a thousand yeah we are heading back now which makes me happy because we can get some food so i will see you guys next time and i really hope you all enjoyed in i can't speak Hope you all really enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, and please subscribe. And hope you all take care and see you next time. Bye.